Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited today. I am going to be showing you how we build our quail coop. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the red button and subscribe and the bell so you get notifications of every time I post new videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. Let's just jump into this. So I wanted to show you how I put this together because it originally started out going to be a goat feeder, but then I totally changed my mind. So this is the setup where I made a box, put the corners in, and then we started making pieces to begin building the roof. However, the size is too small for the quail coop. And so once we got this part together, I went ahead and pulled this thing back out and started disassembling it to make it larger. And the measurements that I was going for were four by eight. And so I went ahead, took it apart, and then made my piece there bigger to four feet and then stretched it across here. And these aren't exact measurements because this was already pre-cut. So my measurements weren't exactly what I wanted, but it all worked still. The roof worked out. Um, we have braces in weird spots because like I said, it was gonna be a hay feeder but it is not anymore. So we just didn't move any of the bracings on top and sort of just started mocking up the whole bottom. I added a board right there so that we can have a flap to open and close it, but also a spot where they can't just run out or fly out through the edges. We're adding our side piece. We'll put this board right here to give a little reinforcement there, but also to help this not bow in the middle. And I will add a board on this side later. And there's that side. And this side. We cut down the panel to size for the floor. If I could do this all over, we would have did the floor panel first and then this floorboard that we're trying to insert in the back just because it was a pain to get in there and we had to disassemble the side walls and the panels that we had already put up. So just a tip for you, if you're gonna make this kind of exact model, you wanna do that first. I decided to go with hardware cloth because a friend of mine told me when she had chicken wire down on the bottom as well as on the sides that predators were able to come and they would pull the quail's legs off essentially killing them so instead of using any chicken wire mesh at all the entire part of the floor as well as the sides I used hardware cloth. You might be thinking that the material that we're using are overkill for the quail, but it's not necessarily for the quail. It's to prevent predators from coming and ripping the quail coop apart and getting to the quail. It is just protection for the quail from predators. This is the spot where I was talking about the opening was too big, so we put this wire down there. So we'll drill the holes in here where the quail can fit through and run and hide. We're gonna put it in place now. To give this piece of plywood here some stability, we put in some small pieces of wood here and drilled it into this floorboard, but also drilled this board into it too. 
And then, in case any animals break through the barrier, we put a piece of plywood on top. And we're gonna use these boards, which are just stakes that we're cutting up. Because I'm all out of two by fours and a lot of wood, so we're using what we have on him. We didn't get to record the mesh being put on, but it was basically stapled underneath the trim and before the sideboard. And then the door is made with two pieces and the mesh is in between those. Now we put a lock over here and then a handle here. And then we also put kind of like a catch there so that it would support this. This is how the inside of here looks. And then there's a board, but if the quail wants, they just run through those little holes. <laughs> now I'm not completely done and I do need to do some touch-ups here, but I chose this hardware just because I really liked it, including this huge handle. Very overkill, but it looks really pretty. And then a latch here and it was really weird how this handle here came with a nut and bolt on one and it was just a screw on the other so that was really odd so we had to drill a hole here to get that in there and this is how the inside looks we put a board at the bottom to brace this to give it a little more support because the water is a little bit heavier and their food but as you can see they can definitely fit in and out of there the cattle panel we used is enough support for them because they are just so light and they're not going to do any damage to it. So this works out really well, especially for um, poop cleanup, you know, it's just going to fall right through there. And maybe once in a while, we'll have to come and sweep it out, but not much. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video and remember this is not exact dimensions or anything that I am giving. It is just a simple how we put it together, how it's set up and you can take these ideas and run with them yourself and try and recreate something like this which is what I did. A friend of mine showed me how her quail coop looked and I went ahead and tried to build something very similar except she welded hers together so it is totally up to you what you decide to do. Y'all take care. Bye.